We've waited a long time to be able to tell you about this. It's taken years of strategy and planning, thousands of hours of development and testing, and now our journey has taken us to this moment. And we're excited that today is the day that you get to see what matters. Industrial operators worldwide have many choices when it comes to gathering critical asset data in multiple plant environments. As IoT technology becomes more prevalent, FlowServe introduces a unique solution for the next generation of asset health monitoring. Since ancient times, the Raven has been seen as the bringer of news, prophecy, and insight. With a sharp, far-reaching view of the world, the Raven was able to use its intelligence to see things coming, long before any person could. The Raven's prophetic nature left a mark in folklore across cultures. Its cleverness, insight, and protective nature known and respected throughout the ages. The world has changed, and so too has the Raven. FlowServe's Red Raven uses state-of-the-art IoT technologies to be your eyes and ears, monitoring your core infrastructure and predicting critical equipment issues before they happen. With decades of experience, data analytics, and diagnostics in its DNA, Red Raven's IoT technology enables you to act immediately, avoiding costly downtime. Red Raven protects your systems 24-7, saving you time and money. When you have Red Raven on your side, you have the power to see beyond. Predict. Use detailed insights to predict why your critical assets will fail. Act. Make informed decisions to prevent equipment failures and improve plant performance and reliability. Protect. Protect your operation against crippling equipment downtime and production losses. Red Raven, the next stage in the evolution of FlowServe. Today you will learn all about our exciting new Red Raven solution and hear from FlowServe leaders about what it is and how it will change the way our customers understand their operations while giving them eyes where they've never had them before. We want this press conference today to be interactive. Throughout the event, we'll be doing some polling and Q&A. To participate, you'll need your smartphone. So go ahead and get that now so you can give us thoughts in our first poll. I'll give you a few seconds to do that. Now, open your camera and hold it in front of the QR code. Then tap to open the browser link that appears on your phone. Be sure to give us your full name so we can record your attendance here today. You only have to do that once. All right, you should be ready to go. So here's your first question. During the lockdown, what would you predict is the biggest challenge to industries? Is it connecting with coworkers and constituents? Collaborating efficiently and effectively? Monitoring operations? Or all of the above? Let's see how the group responds. Yeah, I think we can all agree. Right now it's at 100% of all of the above. Okay, we're seeing some monitoring operations. Clearly all of the above is our winner here. I think we all know that the pandemic has caused us to really have to change the way that we do business. Monitoring equipment health is an ongoing challenge for customers. They often experience unexpected downtime which leads to expensive repairs and millions in lost revenue. They're looking for a partner who will work with them to provide engineering expertise in fluid motion and control, as well as advanced technologies and service capabilities to keep operations moving. All right, our first speaker this morning is Scott Rowe, our president and chief executive officer. Please give him a nice, warm, virtual welcome. Thank you, Lars, and hello, everyone. Today, we're announcing a new, exciting IoT services and technology platform called Red Raven. Throughout our 200 plus years of history, FlowServe has experienced several significant milestones. 
For example, in 2000, FlowServe strategically deployed quick response centers throughout the world to provide our customers with local support to improve the reliability of their rotating equipment. And we started developing IoT solutions in 2010 before the term IoT was being used. In 2016, FlowServe further expanded our offering by collaborating with high technology companies to develop powerful, scalable, and secure cloud-based monitoring and diagnostic solutions. What we are announcing today is yet another milestone in our rich history. Red Raven is an adaptive technology platform enabling IoT services for flow motion equipment and systems. It offers our customers the scalable ability to monitor equipment and predict failures, take preventive actions, and avoid unnecessary disruptions. Our extensive knowledge of rotating equipment design and common industry challenges enables us to develop more accurate analytics, which leads to better insights. We have a dedicated remote monitoring facility staffed by a team of technical specialists to help monitor customers' equipment. And our proven end-to-end -end turnkey solution supports customers throughout their entire IoT journey. This new offering means a lot for FlowServe and our customers. Remote monitoring has become even more important in 2020 with the pandemic and the move to remote operations. Finally, I'd like to recognize the team's efforts in successfully launching this new offering that is fully focused on meeting our customer needs. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Next up, we'll take a look at the challenges faced across industries and how Red Raven is positioned to give our customers something they've never had before, a sentinel on watch for problems an IoT monitoring solution we call Red Raven. I sat down and had a conversation earlier this month with President of Aftermarket Services and Solutions, Sanjay Chaube, and Vice President, Global Marketing and Technology, Dr. Tasif Salma. Welcome to you both. Sanjay, we heard from Scott that Red Raven is a technology platform that enables IoT services. What role do services play in delivering value to our customers? So thank you, Lars. Services play a very, very important role for all our customers, who are most of them are in very mission critical operations. So once the product and equipment are installed, they have to run most of them 24 seven. We really provide value through our uh, 200 quick response centers and more than 2,000 technicians to really help our customers make sure their operations are running smoothly and also help them with any need, for example, maintenance, repair, or performance upgrades. Uh, that's, and along with that, you know, we also offer aftermarket and spare parts. On the aftermarket piece, can you talk a little bit about why Red Raven is so critical to aftermarket services? Yeah, Red Raven basically provides a platform for us where we can help customers you know, monitor the data from their equipment remotely. And also with our technical expertise, we can help them analyze the data. And we bring you know, more than 200 years of experience in our pump valve and design for SEAL uh, to really understand the analytics of that data. And then we help customers to identify the problem before it happens and address it. Final question for you, Sanjay. What is the business model for Red Raven? In other words, how are you gonna to go to market with Red Raven, which is a service that also includes monitoring products? Yeah, we will be offering our customers multiple different options in this case. They can choose to have hardware and software, or they can also have 24-7 you know, monitoring services and predictive maintenance and condition monitoring. And what we will do for our customers is help them understand their unique situation and understand and give them proper recommendations what could be applicable to them. And a customer can choose to go all in right away, or they can choose to go in steps over time, but we will be there with them all along. To see, if let's talk a little bit about the marketing technology side of things. I'm sure it was very interesting to develop this product. Can you give us a little insight on how the idea of Red Raven was born? Absolutely. So the concept of Red Raven is deeply rooted in our unmatched experience, our depth of knowledge, our passion to solve complex problems, and create value for our customers. 
Flow control space is large. We play in multiple segments. And Raven represents the ability from a bird who is known for prophecy, for collecting wisdom, for collecting insights. And what Red Raven brings to our customers is the ability to forecast the risk with a bird's eye view, understanding from a systems approach, and then being able to predict it early and be able to create performance differentiation for our customers. This is truly a commitment from FlowServe with a strong DNA for innovation to stay on the leading edge and create additional value for our customer through reliability and safety. So Sanjay talked a little bit about the value added services it provides. You've talked a little bit about the um, customer and, and um, such. I wonder in the development of Red Raven, there must've been a lot of customer input. Can you talk a little bit about some of the things that customers provided for us as feedback in the development? Sure. So our customers are facing increasing need to be efficient, to be safer. There are economic pressures, safety regulations, and the need to have a higher level of responsiveness within the systems that are constantly expanded and expected to perform at the highest productivity. With that in mind, the customers are looking for ways to predict failure early. They need to have the ability to be prepared to respond and to do it safely with minimum cost. So those were some of the drivers that the customers shared with us to make sure we can improve the reliability and safety and performance of their systems. Let's talk a little bit about the technology side of things. Can you give us some insight into how Red Raven stands out from a technology perspective? Yes. Where we have the differentiation is the ability to really address the performance deviation in real time. The second aspect is related to the critical equipment. Those are the assets that the customers really benefit from in knowing the failure modes and understanding and predicting the performance in advance because those assets are not existing in duplicate. The other aspect is related to our ability to provide a holistic solution. And FlowServe is uniquely positioned to provide that systems approach and be able to be an advisor uh, to the customer through our IoT-enabled solutions. We also have data security integrated in our solutions, along with the physics-based models that allow us to do the predictive analytics that is based on science and understanding of the equipment performance. Lars, I would like to just add to what Tasif talked about technology. What makes us unique is that with the technology, we bring the expertise of our people. We have 230 years of experience and more than 5,000 you know, technical staff. When you combine that with 24 seven monitoring center and our ability to really understand the data and then get the right solution to our customers, we really become unique in this space. But not only where we are today, you know, with our expertise and people, we'll be a really you know, a partner of the choice for all our customers because this is a journey and we believe that what we are offering today, we're only going to build on that. So we are really a truly partner for the long term. Thank you, Sanjay and Tasif, for that great discussion. Right now, I'd like to take you on a deeper dive into the Red Raven platform with Eric Zurich, Vice President of Global IoT. Eric? Good morning, and first of all, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, I have the distinct pleasure of leading the IoT team, and over the last several of years, uh, we've just made tremendous progress in terms of developing this technology. We're going to spend a little bit of time this morning talking about uh, the capabilities, a little bit about the organization, how we develop the technology, and some of the progress that we've made with some of our customers. You know, it's amazing as I look across the industry, really the change that's happened over the last several years in terms of the new environment of working from home and the new environment of being able to digitally connect, you know, both across the organization and also with other industries and other, other companies that are uh, performing today. So again, a little bit about why is today unique and why is today so important? Again, in this COVID and post COVID world, having the opportunity to log in from home or if you're a plant operator to be able to see the exact operating condition of your assets is more important than ever. I mean, it's just simply amazing about the technology today and some of the progression that we've made over the last several of years. You know, it's really about improving reliability, 
performance, safety, enabling operators not to have to go into the field and necessarily touch the equipment, but to pull all that information back into their, uh, the safety of their, uh, wherever they're working from home or from the office. You know, differentiation, it's important. We're in a competitive market. And so whether we're developing new smart products or going into the field after the fact and instrumenting some of these pump seals and valves and other equipment, we can pull all this data back into a centralized database and provide you know, AI or machine learning or some of the algorithms that we've developed over the last couple of years to better understand our customers' operations and help them operate their equipment more effectively and more efficiently. You know, why are we positioned to win? Well, I think Tausif talked about this, of that unique OEM experience of being in a manufacturing space where we design this equipment, we know exactly how it operates, how it should operate, and how we can help the customers get the most out of that equipment in the field. You know, we have the capability, we've designed some of our in instrumentation and, and pulling all that information back. And I'll take you through a couple of the steps of how we did that and how the whole end-to-end -end solution works. And then Sanjay briefly talked about this, is that unique capability to serve. So we're not just another IoT company, we have the full breadth of over 200 service centers around the world that allow us to go out and serve those customers and not just diagnose or detect an issue, but actually help them solve the issue and repair the equipment and bring the plant back up online. So let's talk about this. So it's a reality today. So IoT, a couple of years ago, was a dream. I think a lot of folks were focused on how to bring this technology forward, how to connect with our customers and clients. And I'd say we've made great progress in the last 24 months. I'm so excited to say we've got more than 25 customers. And in fact, I think in the last week or two, that number continues to, to climb. Uh, we've got over 400 users in the system today of customers and clients that are logging in and, and accessing that information. And I think we're just scratching the surface. You know, amazingly, my technology team tells me that that's something like 60,000 signals per minute. So that blows my mind in terms of the amount of information and learning that can be gleaned from those systems. And then finally, looking at the number of assets that we have deployed in the field, we're already over 4,000 assets and monitoring that equipment worldwide. So it's across 55 countries. It's in all the, the regions that FlowServe operates today. And amazingly, it's across many different industries. So whether it's food and beverage or power or oil and gas, it really opens up new opportunities for us to better connect with those customers. So how does it work? So again, I, I promised we'd spend a little bit of time on the technology. So whether it's, it's a device or a sensor that we deploy in the field, and so this could be a wireless sensor, it could be a wired sensor, uh, it might be a smart product. And so our teams and the platforms and the business units around the world are working on new, smart, and innovative designs with embedded sensors. Once that technology is now embedded, you can pull that signal in through a wireless gateway, which is typically available in the market today. We're partnering with various folks in the industry to provide that. We'll pull that information into a centralized cloud-based server, or in some cases, some of our customers, let's say in the nuclear space, have to have extremely secure data and so that's all on-premise, as they call it, on-prem. And so that's a deployment that we partner with our customers to deliver. Once that data is in that cloud structure, we can analyze it. We can provide algorithms to better understand how those pumps and seals and valves are operating and quickly diagnose of what's the operating condition and how long can those, op those assets continue to operate before intervention is required. And then, of course, we share all that information. We have our own internal monitoring center where we have experts that look at that data and provide feedback to the customer and help support them, or the customers themselves can log into that easy to use portal and understand what's happening with their assets. You know, from a pictorial standpoint, uh, one of the things I wanted to show was what does this look like in the field? And so we've got some great new uh, products that we'll talk about a little bit later this, this morning of how we pull that wireless data back in a secure and reliable way. We've got smart products, positioners, actuators, et cetera, valves that pull that data in through a DCS, or which is a distributed control system or uh, asset management system, that can be pulled into that cloud environment. All of that data goes up to be able to be processed by analytics and then again supported by a global network of service specialists. So again, one size does not fit all. We talked about the mission critical equipment, whether it's nuclear, oil and gas, chemical, some of these facilities have very critical applications. It, have to, it has to be in a secure zone. The equipment has to perform flawlessly. And for those critical applications, many of our customers choose to, to use what we call predictive analytics. And so just in, this, in the pump space, we have over 15 algorithms that will sit and diagnose what is the oper operating characteristic or what's the, the failure mode that we're looking for. In the wireless space, this is where wireless technology allows us to go across the plant and look at any number of assets to pull that data back quickly, easily, and at a low cost for our customers. And so we really feel whether it's mission critical equipment that's predictive 
or through the balance of plan equipment where it's wireless, you're just pulling information and trending reports, providing that real time or near real time information back to the clients. Uh, we think it's a fantastic blend of, of OEM technology and analytics blended with best in class wireless technology. So we can do both. I wanna spend a little bit of time talking about a specific customer example. So this, this example makes me so happy. Uh, over the holidays, we had a, a customer contact us and say, we'd love to try out some of your new LoRa-based wireless communications equipment. So we quickly installed it. The installation actually took less than 20 minutes. Uh, the customer performed it themselves. And we were able to, to install that equipment. And within six days, the customer was able to quickly diagnose and detect that they had an issue. And so we were able to solve that customer's problem and quickly get to the root cause and avoid damage for that particular customer. So we're gonna play a video real quickly that goes into a little bit more detail in terms of LoRa technology and how that works. Large plants require a lot of equipment data to improve operations and reliability. But many assets are not instrumented, and adding traditional wired sensors is not a sustainable solution due to the cost and complexities of deploying cables over long distances. Node ER, the first LoRaWAN sensor certified for Class 1, Division 1, ATEC Zone 0 areas, balances volume and distance demands. Node ER sensors reliably transmit data as far as one mile over industrial areas. Here's how LoRaWAN works. Wireless Node ER sensors are installed directly to pumps and other assets throughout your plant, even in explosion rated areas. These nodes collect vibration, temperature and pressure data, encrypt it, and transmit it securely to a gateway every 15 minutes or less. And since nodes transmit to multiple gateways, your data gets through, even in the event of a gateway failure. These gateways securely transmit your encrypted equipment data to the cloud via FlowServe's private network service provider, where it's received, decrypted, and shown on our Insight portal. The complete solution is cost-effective, reliable, and complies with the latest cybersecurity standards. The state-of-the-art FlowServe Monitoring Center supervises your asset's health. Issues are flagged immediately and an alert is sent to you and a FlowServe reliability engineer for further review. FlowServe can access Node ER sensors remotely to change their transmission rates, collect data more frequently, or obtain additional information, such as compressed FFT spectrum for a deeper analysis. An alert also prompts your team to evaluate the equipment in the field. Using tools available via the Insight portal, your reliability team can visualize equipment performance safely in real time from anywhere, even at home. And for equipment not in an alarm state, the FlowServe Monitoring Center can analyze trend data and provide you with detailed reports and recommendations on demand. FlowServe Node ER and its LoRaWAN system make asset health monitoring possible on thousands of assets over sprawling facilities. This system helps you prevent equipment failures, increase uptime, lower maintenance costs, and more. Contact your FlowServe representative today to see what it will do for you. So again, I'm so excited to be able to release this new product to the market and, and to support our customers and their operations. And that was an example of balance of plant equipment, monitoring over long distances, and really making use of some of the best, most widely adopted technology in the IoT space today. So I'm extremely proud of the team and, uh, and happy to announce that. I want to spend a little bit more time talking about predictive analytics. So this is another area of where we talked about these mission critical assets. And so this particular customer was one, in fact, I, I had an opportunity to visit with this customer, spend some time on site. They had a unique situation where they were operating five FlowServe pumps. And again, it could be any brand, any model, but th these happen to be FlowServe pumps from the 1960s. And so they operated five of these cooling plants in a, a steel mill ap application. And so they had issues and they couldn't diagnose exactly what was happening. 
We quickly installed the equipment over a couple of weeks. We pulled those signals back, began analyzing it, and within two weeks, we started finding some interesting situations where they were going through cavitation or low flow conditions. And we detected that in an unusual situation where when they were running pump one and five, they ran into this issue, but only when pumps two, three, and four were not operating. So it was something that was hard to model. It was hard to diagnose. They didn't see it happen all the time. So it's really an intermittent condition. So we did diagnose that. We quickly alerted the customer. Uh, that, you know, they were skeptical at first and said, hey, this is one of the first times you've applied these new algorithms. And so we're gonna test this. And so they actually tore down the pumps. They took a look at the equipment and sure enough, some of the clearances had worn down. The impeller, uh, which you see on the screen here was cavitating and so actually had some damage to it. And so they were extremely thrilled and they're looking at some other applications across some of their other sites in the US where they can apply this technology. So again, the failure modes gets down to the specific application. In this case, we knew it was cavitation. We knew it was on the impeller. And sure enough, when we tore apart the equipment and looked at the pump, that's what we found. And so good validation of the technology in use today. So one thing we hear a lot in the IoT space, and, and we get this all you know, in terms of feedback of, hey, do you guys sell sensors? Do you provide equipment? What, what do we buy from FlowServe typically? What's that commercial uh, arrangement look like? And Sanjay talked about that this morning. We actually provide a, a wide variety of commercial solutions for our customers. It can be a subs subscription contract. It could be a monitoring contract. Uh, it could be hardware plus the service. And so I wanna emphasize the point that IoT is a rapidly developing space. It's more than just providing a simple sensor and technology. It's more than providing just the analytics. It's really that end-to-end -end solution of being able to do all these things well. And so on the left-hand side of this chart here, you see that performance data that shows that is the IoT streaming data that's coming in, that's going into the cloud environment, that's across pumps, seals, valves, motors, dryers, blowers. It could be a whole number of applications that, that brings that data into that cloud-based environment. We analyze that data in that cloud structure, but we're also now marrying up information that we have as an OEM of historical performance. So we'll look at things like seal reliability, seal changeouts. Every time that equipment has been taken down for service, we'll keep a record of that. Where we have folks, application engineers on site, they'll record that information into databases of, uh, that are maintenance databases. We can marry that together with the performance data and that gives us an even better solution to our customers to help them diagnose what's the history and what's the current operation. We're also looking at potential partners in the industry where we can license this technology, we can license these algorithms in a much greater swath of, of customers and clients that they have. And so these might be major DCS providers or other analytics providers that we can support and partner with and go to the industry. Because in the IoT space, it's not just about providing a simple solution, it's really about providing this ecosystem and layers of value to the customer. So we think there's a very bright future ahead. So again, in conclusion, and, and I thank everybody for their time this morning, you know, we are so excited about our digital future. This is really a turning point for the organization. This is a new chapter in FlowServe's story. It's gonna allow us to connect with our customers, to be closer to them, to understand their operations and be there as events unfold on site. And we're really part of that, that equation with them. Uh, we can improve their operations. We can help them improve their operations and their reliability. So they're all on a journey. They're trying to improve lower cost of operations, better reliability, and this helps us differentiate our technology. You know, one of the benefits of IoT is we have all of this data. We can now bring it back in. Our design engineers can improve the products, make them more reliable, more efficient, and that cycle continues as we learn and improve. And then finally, it's faster responsiveness. Sanjay talked about this, about having this global supply network or, or service network and supply that allows us to get parts and services out into our customers and help them fix their equipment as quickly as possible and get back up to speed and back operating. So we're, we're more than excited about this. It is a thrilling new chapter in the business. So with that, I'll turn it back to Lars and he'll walk us through the next Q&A section of this morning. Thanks, Eric. In just a moment, we'll open up the floor for your questions. In order to submit them, please grab your phone and make sure that your camera's open and hold it in front of the QR code. You should see a space at the bottom left of your screen for Q&A. Go ahead and submit your questions for our panel now. I'll have them live here and I will go ahead and read them. Let me welcome back to the stage Sanjay and Tasif, along with Eric, who will take your questions live this morning. Eric, the first one's for you. Let's go ahead and, and could you give us just an overview on how Red Raven actually works? 
Sure, absolutely. So Lars, thank you for the question. Uh, we just went through a little bit of the detail, but how IoT works, it really starts with in real time instrumenting that equipment in the field. And so whether it's through a smart device that we've already developed you know, years ago, or going back in after the fact, uh, sending folks into the field or helping the customer install that, that sensor and which pulls that data back typically wirelessly, uh, we'll deploy a, what's called a gateway in the field. And that gateway, much like your cable box at home, it pulls all the information back into a centralized point. And then we can communicate with that gateway over cellular or satellite communications. And then we'll also send that data back to the customer so that they can visualize it. Uh, and as well, our monitoring folks uh, are able to look at that data as well and provide service back to the customer to help them diagnose how, it's, uh, how things are going. To see a question for you, what do you see as the total available market size for Red Raven? Lars, the market is evolving. As Eric mentioned, we are covering a very large set of process industries and operating plants. So the market is evolving and putting an actual number is premature but we feel very strongly that as we gain the confidence of our customers and deliver the end-to-end -end solution that we mentioned, it's really going to be a substantive contribution as we offer the flow serve solutions on predictive analytics as well as monitoring. Sanjay, can you talk a little bit about some of the benefits of the monitoring center? Yeah, definitely. Uh, monitoring center is one of those things that, you know, for example, today we have auto spell check or auto correct, you know, when we send a text, you know what happens, you know, if you just rely on the machine. So similarly here, you know, we have artificial intelligence, you know, data is coming in, but then we bring the manual intelligence in our experience of our design engineers and our also the monitoring center. So with that combined, we're able to really diagnose the problem in a better way and then alert our customers. Eric, here's a, a question for you. Um, can you give us an example of how this is being used in the food and beverage industry? Sure. So absolutely. Uh, an example that we just ran across, I think it was a week ago, I had a uh, potential customer in the food and beverage industry that was asking me about a particular product. And uh, obviously, it, it can actually get quite complex in terms of the layout of some of these plants. You would think because it's food and beverage, it's, it's relatively straightforward. Uh, but in fact, they typically have rooms of pumps and valves and dryers and motors and equipment, gearboxes. And so this particular customer said, hey, I'm looking for something that's a low cost solution. I'm looking for something that can apply to a wide variety of equipment. You know, does it have to be flow serve equipment? And uh, my quick answer was no. Uh, we can actually instrument all those different pieces of equipment, uh, pull the data back. It's got to, you know, again, in food and beverage is a very competitive industry, so it has to be something, a solution that's low cost, easy to implement. Uh, they were looking specifically for something that's easy to maintain, that they could do on site themselves. And so for them, we recommended this LoRa based solution because it was quite easy to set up and configure. So great question, thank you. Yeah, also if I can just add to that, you know, most of the uh, food and beverage, you know, industry has a very high speed production. So if you have any breakdown anywhere, you know, there's a lot of quality issue that creeps up in that. So from that angle, you know, it's really important to, you know, predict the problems as many times as we can, you know, before it happens. To see if here's one for you, how do you measure success for Red Raven going forward? The way we are looking at success is really providing the plant operators as well as the reliability engineers within those systems, the ability to detect the problem as early as possible, and the number of times that we can accurately predict and be able to resolve those issues in the flow control is where we will be measuring success. So we are very excited based on the initial set of results that we have uh, received so far, uh, the, the, the two dozen and more customers that Eric mentioned we are really looking at seeing the confidence from our customers to drive the results as well as the metrics for success. So more, more is better, and we feel that the ability to really anticipate the problem as well as detect it is going to help us measure success properly. Great. Eric, here's one for you. This sounds like something that only big plants can afford. What about a smaller plant that doesn't have thousands of pumps, valves, and seals? Sure, it's, it's actually a solution that's quite scalable. 
So uh, we have customers that cover a broad spectrum. So I'm thinking of a customer that we have in Oman, actually, that's doing a brand new installation. It's a, a water application. And so they've selected, they've got brand new flow serve pumps in this case. Uh, they're installing brand new predictive analytics. And so that's more on the high end of what's available. But I also have customers, uh, I can think of one in Florida, for example, uh, that basically wanted to instrument just four pumps. And so these were the critical, they're providing drinking water, so similar application, uh, but to, to you know, local provider in that particular municipality, and they just only had that solution that they could provide, and it had to be relatively low cost, and again, easy to install. And so it really doesn't matter, you're, you're covering a, a broad spectrum, all the way from low cost, just a couple of devices, uh, and I can think all the way to this predictive analytics customer, or we have a customer that's actually got you know, almost 400 sensors out in the middle of uh, part of the desert in Australia. And so that particular customer needed, same thing, high reliability, but over a huge network of assets that are deployed in that situation. So we can do both. Sanjay, this one's for you. Do you foresee this product being most beneficial in just remote applications? No, I think this can be used for uh, in, in on-site and also remote. For example, you know, if you look at, uh, you saw some of the videos earlier that you know, most of our you know, customers that we serve you know, have a mile-long radius, you know, large oil and gas uh, complex or you know, huge water processing plant. But including that, you know, we also serve, for example, pharmaceuticals. Any of those places, you, know, you will have engineers on-site and also remote, so I think it's a combination of both. You can collect data locally and act on it too. Eric, can you talk just a little bit about uh, how agnostic um, Red Raven is? We've got a couple questions around, is it, is it in use only for Flowster products? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the IoT platform in general is agnostic. And so we actually approached the situation several years ago when we said, what's important in terms of strategy and being successful for our customers? So not only is it agnostic in terms of the equipment type, so I think I talked about blowers, motors, drying drums, uh, valves, seals, actuators, positioners, all those types of pieces of equipment we can absolutely trend. Um, in terms of the radio frequency and the, the actual technology that we're deploying, it's also scalable and agnostic. So we use well-known top tier providers for both, let's say cellular traffic, as well as our IoT hub and our IoT cloud infrastructure. So everything is kind of top tier, let's say in terms of partnerships and networks. Um, what I will say is to clarify, when you get into the predictive analytics, uh, we do get pretty specific in the pump models. Now, it's not limited to just flow serve equipment. We can look at all the different, let's say, types of pumps, but those algorithms are highly engineered and custom algorithms that are designed for pumping operations. So we have very good analytics on pumps, valves, and seals, uh, and that's, that's because that's what we typically provide. And then on the actuators and positioners, uh, we produce that equipment as well. And so there's a lot of onboard diagnostics. So I hope I answered the question, but it's, it's in general, it's very... Uh, agnostic in terms of the type of equipment, but for the predictive analytics, we get very specific on specific pump seals, valves, actuators, et cetera. To see if this one's for you, can you tell us a little bit about what's new and different about Red Raven? I'm really glad you asked. <laughs> so FlowServe has a deep history of innovation. And what we are really bringing new in Red Raven is the embedded physics as well as the hundreds of years of intelligence on rotating equipment that really allowed us to develop the predictive analytics algorithms that are unique, as well as the ability to really take a systems view. And what Sanjay mentioned earlier, the access to the systems approach as well as QRCs allow us to really address the actual needs of our companies and operators to make sure that we are providing actionable insights that help them take decisions that prevent and re reduce the downtime. And if, if I might, uh, Lars, I might add to that, because I think what's interesting is we're getting into new conversations with our customers. Uh, in some cases, it's brand new customers that said, hey, I had no idea that FlowServe was in this IoT space. Uh, we knew folks were out there, but we didn't know that you provided this type of equipment or solution. Um, we're also talking to new customers at that site, so new individuals. So whether it's the IT department or, you know, typically we deal with the reliability engineers or plant production, uh, but it opens up new lines of conversation and new skills that are required. And so it's really exciting for me to see kind of this development around software and technology and infrastructure and cloud-based, you know, infrastructure. Uh, it's really just a fascinating time in industry. And I think that applies across not just FlowServe, but 
you know, all the participants. And so as we learn and scale, we'll develop these capabilities together. So it's really a, an amazing time. Eric, here's a, a couple follow on questions on technology, uh, two parts. Did you build your dashboard yourself or find it from another vendor? And are the analytics, can they be run on prem or are they only in the cloud? Yeah, great question. So uh, the answer is yes, we partnered for the platform. And so uh, we can follow up and provide more information on exactly who we partner with. But I can say they're top tier IoT providers in terms of cloud infrastructure, uh, some of the connectors that we built. Uh, that specific platform is very well known in, in, uh, in the industry. And so we did partner for that. We knew right away that, hey, we can't build every single thing custom made to FlowServe you know, specifications. It would simply take too long and too many resources. So our strategy and approach is really to partner for some of those things that are, you know, other folks in the industry do very well. So I think, uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. And I think there, there's a bright future in terms of partnerships and other folks that we can work with in the, in, in the industry. Yeah, Lars, if I can just add to that, we really focused on, you know, our core competency being, you know, the analytics, you know, what we bring from the 200 years of design experience. And then also, if you look at, you know, some of the solutions we have, you know, whether it's the LoRa network or the cloud services, we, from right in the beginning, we wanted to have solution that can be much more open source and can be easily compatible with any of the application, you know, whether it's oil and gas, water, and all that. So we really, really kept uh, in our mind what the end use of our, what we're trying to do and add the value from that perspective. Eric, here's another one for you. Does Red Raven eliminate the need for regular maintenance? Uh, no, I think Red Raven actually adds capabilities and it helps our customers perform their maintenance better. And so that's the way we look at this. Uh, it's certainly not meant to replace, you know, very specific equipment technology experts that may be walking those sites every day. And so those, those particular folks uh, have built up years and years of experience of understanding what's happening to that, let's say, that particular pump or valve uh, over many, many years. What I can say is it makes their operations more effective and more efficient. So typically, I, I just had a customer again last week that I was talking to that said, we, we perform a lot of maintenance that's not required. So they'll go out, they might do a pump teardown, uh, they find out everything's just fine, and they put the pump back together and they're back in operation. And so there's lost downtime, there's unnecessary maintenance that, that's performed in that case. And so the benefits of a wireless network or even wired network is you're able to quickly scan all that equipment every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, pull that information back in, and you can quickly send somebody out specifically to that asset that's giving them trouble or looks like there might be an indication. So I would say it's additive. Yeah, and if I can just add to what Eric mentioned, one of the benefits of IoT and for the Red Raven is the ability to offer that maintenance access more safely. And having remote monitoring, having advanced alerts really allows for operator safety and for the same experts who are really working a very large plant. It really helps them offer the solutions as well as proactive maintenance with the advantage of Red Raven Insights. Sanjay, a couple questions around the financial impact of Red Raven on your business. Um, specifically, um, what do you expect the margins from this new business to be and how much of the revenue is recurring? Yeah, that's a great question. In fact, you know, I did ask the, uh, our marketing team and technology team, you know, they have the tagline of Red Raven being predict, but they basically told me that they cannot predict revenue or a stock price impact. Uh, but here's what we can tell you. Uh, you know, when you look at our overall, uh, you know, the wide area of applications we are serving, you know, from oil and gas to energy, chemical, you know, pharmaceutical, uh, and you look at the install base we have, you know, more than 2,000, 2 million, in fact, you know, pumps, more than 5 million valves, uh, you know, more than 2 million seals out there, and then more to come in the future. So when you look at the market size, and then also you heard from Eric yesterday, you know, earlier today, is that we're not only talking about flow serve install base. This solution will work very well with you know, all other competitive products too. So it's a pretty sizable market. So we know that there is an you know, application out there. The things we don't know yet is what's the adoption rate you know, of the uh, overall IoT solutions and also the business model. Because we have uh, you know, different options. You, know, you can buy hardware, do it yourself, or you can do the full service. You know, so there are a lot of things to be learned. At this point, we're really, really focused on making sure that we are providing a solution uh, that is taking care of you know, our large different you know, industries' needs with respect to uh, finding problems and addressing it before it happens. 
So Steve, can you take a step back and walk us through how long it took to develop Red Raven? So our IoT journey with Red Raven has been a journey. We have spent multiple years, and what we are very proud of is that we have invested time, effort, and extracted a lot of learning. So we've been on this journey for, for several years, started in 2010. Overall, what we are bringing right now is yet another innovation in the rich history of FlowServe, where we are complementing our flow control equipment and services with something that is technology oriented and will really service our customers with, with the right insights and actionable solutions. Eric, here's another technology question for you. Does this product integrate with other predictive offerings from partners such as Emerson or Honeywell, or would a customer have to buy from you and from them? Uh, the quick answer on that is it is highly, in, it, it can be integrated or, or it's easy to do. Uh, we're actually working with some of these larger, let's say analytics providers or DCS providers like you had mentioned. Uh, and there's an opportunity then to partner with them where they may provide, let's say, first level analytics on most of the equipment, if not all the equipment that's out there. But for a user that may want to double click on a pump or an actuator or positioner or valve, uh, you're going to have that next layer of, of analytics. So for example, they may detect one or two different failure modes. We might detect a dozen. And so that extra layer of, of algorithm and intuition and uh, understanding of how the equipment's performing is going to help them sell their broader platform better. And, and we have an opportunity to engage with that customer because we'll have those analytics that are underlying their total solution. So I think it's a little bit of a win-win for both partners. Just want to remind everybody, you can click on that QR code and again, continue to submit your questions. Sanjay, this one's to you. Who is the most formidable competitor that you have in this space and how do you expect to gain market share? Yeah, thank you again. Uh, we are really focused on you know what we bring to the table uh, with our core competencies. Uh, I'm sure you know that there are other providers who can you know uh, provide solutions, but where we differentiate ourselves is that we have you know st we started the IoT solution you know 10 years ago. So we had a platform, we built on that, you know, with the new uh, LoRa you know, wide area network based solution and also very, uh, you know, compatible open source uh, reporting solutions and, and, and also, you know, the advanced analytics. Then we added our expertise to that. And I think from a timing perspective, you know, we're really utilizing, you know, the increased computing power that is available to all of us. So we are running high, you know, advanced analytics and then we are tying that with remote monitoring services and, you know, our a global network of 200 service you know, centers. So by the time you look at it, we feel that it will be as good or better than anybody else, you know, in really taking care of uh, the needs for you know large different you know uh, applications out there. To see if you talked a little bit about our journey from an innovation perspective, can you talk about what level of investment FlowServe has made in this technology? So Lars, we. We have really invested a lot of time, resources, expertise, and knowledge. While I cannot qualify it with an actual value, suffices to say that the substantive effort that we have invested in is actually giving us the confidence to bring it today and, and share it with you. I am even more excited about the future and what we are planning to invest in, as well as what we expect this to create in terms of value to the various uh, companies as well as plant operations. So a lot of solid investment and a commitment to make sure that we actually create future value for the companies and our customers. Eric, uh, data security, cyber security is in the news every day. Can you talk a little bit about how data secure the Red Raven platform is? Absolutely. So Data security, cybersecurity, obviously it's top of mind for all of us, whether it's uh, your own mobile phone or your you know, Apple accounts or whatnot, uh, it's critical that all that data is protected. You raise that game even when you get into, you know, you're talking about chemical facilities, nuclear facilities, and these are many of our customers that we serve today. So I can say our IoT technology is as good or better than our entire FlowServe network. We run the same level of cybersecurity requirements that we do as an operating business. Uh, across the IoT platform. And so I know it's always a threat 
We're continuing to advance the technology every time that there's an upgrade or an option that's available out there to improve the hardness of that network, we do that. So all that, the data from the sensor is encrypted, it's sent back to the gateway, that's uh, you know through trusted partners and providers that provide that intelligence and data and secure network back to our cloud. Our cloud is secure. Again, I mentioned about top tier IoT providers of that cloud infrastructure, and so we absolutely partner with them and kind of take the, the best of breed in terms of cyber, cyber security. So I can say it's very important to us and it's critical to our operations and our customers' operations. And Eric, just to follow on to that question, can you talk a little bit about sensors and wireless versus wired? Oh, sure. Sure, so the difference between wired and wireless, uh, just to really quickly, so a wired sensor is typically used on a critical application when you need very high speed responsiveness. Uh, the algorithms that we develop, typically you're talking about signals coming in every few seconds, right? Two or three seconds uh, in terms of an interval and you'll have a lot of data because the algorithms require a lot of data to churn, to understand what's happening and then provide that data almost real time back to the user, back to the operator. And so those critical applications, you may not have a lot of time between, you know, events where you have to take action, shut down the pump or close the valve or whatever operations you have to take. On the wireless side, typically, again, it's a lower cost option. Uh, it's for intended really for more broad industrial applications. In that case, that wireless data, uh, there's a trade-off between the amount of data versus a battery life, let's say, in the field. And so we weigh that back and forth of the application. Uh, and that data is really a very small data packet that's sent back, typically over a long range. And so that's why that LoRa technology works really nicely. Uh, and you also don't have to do, let's say, penetrations or run cables or other things through a facility. Uh, like I said, within 20 minutes, you can you know, bolt on or screw on those different wireless sensors and send the data back pretty quickly and easily. So I hope that answers your question. Great, to see if here's one for you. Can you tell us about plans that you have to improve this product further in the future and what's on your customer's wish list? As I mentioned, we are actually putting a significant effort in making sure that we take the feedback from the customers and truly refine the intelligence. Eric mentioned about the large volume of data that we receive every second and the important part for FlowServe is to provide our companies and our customers with the actionable intelligence. So what we plan to refine on is truly taking on the intelligence that we are gathering, the results that show the promise and the prediction effectively, and take it across the various processes and segments because we have the ability truly to apply the Red Raven technology beyond a single industry. We have the access already to multiple customers and we plan to actually take it with a systems approach where we can apply it to multiple services where it allows our customers and the companies to truly benefit from the solutions and preventative maintenance. Yeah, I'd just like to add something to that. You know, in my meetings with customers, uh, you know, again, large oil and gas providers or chemical industry, one of the things that we very routinely heard about is that anybody can put the sensors and you know get collect the data and send alerts. So our focus area, you know, for now also we have already done a step change on that, but future also we are looking at how do we improve the analytics. You know, and that will again, like Tausif said, you know, actionable insight, but we're really trying to minimize, you know, unnecessary uh, alerts and alarms to the customers, you know, so how do we really add value in that will be one thing. And the second area where we also will look to, you know, continue to make improvements will be user friendly, you know, the interface uh, and also the graphic tools and things like that. Sanjay, here's another question for you. Do you believe that ultimately add-ons like Red Raven will become cost of doing business and customers ex will expect technology enabled products like this for free? Yes, th that is uh, one of the possibility that, you know, it becomes a required part of any, you know, new equipment we sell. But the bigger question is, you know, the services that goes with that, you know, that will be an optional thing. It's like, you know, 10 years ago, many companies started to sell, you know, internet ready TVs, but that doesn't mean that you get, you know, free internet service or free, you know, like streaming services. And what content comes along with it. So I think that, you know, having the hardware, could become a norm in the equipment, but what happens with the data, you know, how do you analyze and what do you do with that? That's not going to be, you know, uh, as easily copied or adopted by anybody. If I can complement to what Sanjay just mentioned, actually smart products 
allow our end users and operators to truly get that digital thread. And IoT is a big enabler to be able to, to provide the smart products with the final solutions and services that are far beyond the actual just technology. So it's the embedded intelligence as well as how that intelligence is applied to truly extend the asset performance as well as optimize the overall operations and productivity for the customer. Eric, can you talk a little bit about the customer data and how they would view that, what options they have, et cetera? Absolutely. So from a customer standpoint, you know, you talked about a wish list a minute ago. That, t that tends to come up quite a bit. How do we get the data? How often can we look at it? Is it easily accessible? And the answer to that is yes, yes, yes. Uh, the customer typically has all the access they need to the information they need to run their plants better. Um, they'll see it visualized. So immediately there's uh, alarms, alerts, there's set points that they can put into the portal. So if they're getting too many alarms, as Sanjay talked about, they can raise that set point, they can lower the set point. Um, that information will typically be displayed on a user interface, either on a laptop, they can see it on their mobile device. Uh, the other feature that the engineers, when we talk to plant engineers, uh, when designing this product is they said, hey, we want to marry this information and data with systems we already have. So can we download this? Can we put this into an Excel format? And so sure enough, uh, we've added buttons where you can download all that information. You can then, the customer can compare it on an offline system. Uh, we've also done some custom integrations where they may want to marry that data into their plant historian, which is really a, a master record of all their data. And so we can create that plumbing to just dump the data into their whatever server they want to uh, eventually store the information in. So it's really flexible. As, as Tausif mentioned, it's that digital thread. Once you're creating all this data, then what do you do with the data? How do you visualize it? How do you make the most uh, intelligence out of it? And so we're pretty flexible in terms of how we work with our customers. Yeah, and the, the follow-on question to that, is it possible to view all enabled assets at once? Are there custom views, things like that? I'm so glad, yeah, so yes, absolutely. So there's, there's several, let's say, view panes on, on the portal. And again, we can do follow-up discussions or, or webcasts on this. So typically, when you log into the portal, you'll see your plant, you'll have a satellite overview, and you can visualize this. You'll have all the assets uh, listed down on the left-hand side. And so you can easily navigate just by clicking on each individual one. If you click on a particular pump, let's say, uh, the next page you'll see is that asset page. And so you'll see a nice photograph. You can upload an image of that particular pump that you're looking at. And that, that helps the operators get familiar with, oh yeah, I'm, I'm talking about pump 403B, right? So they know that. Um, and then you'll have all the speed indicators or let's say speed dial type indications. So you'll look at temperature, you'll look at pressure, maybe vibration in the X, Y, and Z. Uh, orientation and so that is a very quick visual alert status where they can quickly check out what's going on and we also aggregate all that data so there's a, another landing page where you can say I want to look at all the dashboard dials so for all my plants how many pumps are in the uh, watch status let's say and so maybe seven out of 400 are in that status and they can quickly double click on that and, and dive down into it so it's really a Diag diagnostic tool, I guess, is the way to, de to, to describe it. We made it as easy to use and as sort of a simple tool that you and I at home could use, right? It takes just a couple of minutes to get, to get familiar with it. We've got time for one last question. Sanjay, I'll, I'll send this one to you. Um, you. You mentioned this kind of earlier in some comments, but can you reiterate again who our target customers are and the industries for Red Raven? Yeah, so you know, during the pandemic, you know, we heard about uh, in the pandemic lingo, you know, essential services. So we serve, in fact, a lot of essential services type companies, nuclear power plants, oil and gas, chemical factories, pharmaceutical. In fact, you know, recently we had an example where one of the leading provider who is producing you know, millions of doses of the vaccine, you know, they had two different incidences where still we uh, had some issues and we had to go respond very quickly and, you know, within a couple of days, turn it around, provide them new, you know, product, I think solutions like what we are launching here will really enable us to even catch those issues beforehand and address it. So I think, you know, this is uh, applicable to many different uh, things that we touch every day. Thank you to our panelists for your insights and analysis this morning. And thanks to you, our audience, for your great questions and participation in this exciting announcement today. If we didn't get to your questions, we will do our best to follow up with you in the next few days. Red Raven by FlowServe is a landmark development in predictive technology that will give our customers unprecedented insight on their critical systems, a true sentinel on watch. 
For more information on FlowServe, we invite you to visit our website at flowserve.com. Thank you again for joining us today.